cars, they're just like us, am I right? And like people, cars need maintenance to keep them running in tip-top shape. So you're probably familiar with the maintenance needs of your typical gas car. You got oil changes, tire rotations, replacing various fluids and filters. But what about electric cars? EVs are so complicated. They have high-tech infotainment screens and powerful lithium-ion batteries. It seems inevitable that it would be equally complicated and expensive to maintain and repair an EV. However, electric vehicles actually have one moving part, the motor. On the other hand, gas vehicles have hundreds of moving parts. More parts means more maintenance more often. On the other hand, it is a lot easier to find a mechanic who specializes in gas cars than it is to find an experienced EV technician. Welcome to Simple Math. I'm Liz Naiman, and today we're going to answer this one big question. Are EVs more expensive or more difficult to maintain than gas Gas cars? We're gonna do the math and I promise we'll make it simple. First off, I'm gonna mention that all the data we're using for this video is from a US Department of Energy technical report. And since it's simple math, we rounded all the costs. There are a lot of types of maintenance that are similar between gas and electric cars. So keep in mind that the service intervals or how often you need to do these things will vary based on the make and the model and if it's gas or electric. But here's your general list. All passenger vehicles need multi-point inspections. Occasionally, the 12 volt starter battery will need to be replaced. You also have to replace wiper blades and headlight bulbs. And and if you want to stay warm in the winter and cool in the summer, sooner or later you will need to service your HVAC, which is your heating and your cooling systems. You need to regularly replace and rotate your tires. And then there's shocks and struts and brake fluid. And last but not least, the cabin air filter. These maintenance items and the costs are the same whether or not you drive an EV or a gas car. Both gas and electric vehicles also need coolant, although they need different types. Gas cars need coolant for the engine, and EVs need coolant for the battery. It turns out that the coolant costs are roughly the same for both types of cars, so you end up spending about the same amount regardless of what you drive. So far, our total maintenance cost per mile is around 5 cents, and that's true for a gas car or an electric car. Now, we're going to take a look at the differences between the two vehicle types, and this is where the math gets interesting. So whatever type of car you drive, you really want your brakes to work. They're crucial for safety. So all cars will need to have their brakes checked and serviced from time to time. The big difference here is that electric cars have something called regenerative braking. When you take a moving car and slow it down, you lose all that kinetic energy from motion as friction and heat. But EVs do something cool. They use regenerative brakes to recycle that kinetic energy and actually recharge the battery. So not only does regenerative braking boost an EV's range, it actually helps prevent wear and tear on the brakes, so they will last longer than in a gas car. Here's where you can start to see the difference add up. EVs become cheaper to maintain whether you're fixing brake pads, brake calipers, or the rotors. So after looking at the brakes, the total cost of EV maintenance is around mm, six cents per mile. And actually that's where EV maintenance ends. Without the moving parts of an engine, EVs don't have as much upkeep. Gas cars, however, with their rumbling internal combustion engines that literally have explosions, need a lot more work. There's the accessory drive belt, oil changes, oil filters, engine air filters, fuel filters, the infamous timing belt, oxygen centers, spark plugs, and transmission service. Wow, that's a lot of maintenance. Individually, these services cost very little per mile, but when you put them all together, the costs add up over time. The total cost for gas cars maintenance is around 10 cents per mile. So when we compare our final costs, we see that EV maintenance is about four cents cheaper per mile. That doesn't seem like a lot, but think about it over the lifetime of a car. If you drive a gas car for 100,000 miles, it's gonna cost you $10,000. Meanwhile, for an EV, it's gonna be a little over $6,000. Now, if you can get your car to 200,000 miles, which most experts agree is a very reasonable mileage, owning an EV will save you $8,000. So we at Recurrent have done the math for you, and we know the answer to the big question. EVs are less expensive and easier to maintain than gas cars by around 40%. Now, the one caveat is that some electric car drivers who really like to floor it find that they need more tires than they do driving a gas car. And that's thanks to all that sweet, sweet torque that EVs have. But if that's not you, you will see the same tire costs as you do in a gas car. 
So the takeaway here is that the high-tech features of EVs don't use moving parts, they're not mechanical, and so they don't wear out as quickly as the moving parts in a combustion engine. EV brakes last longer due to regenerative braking, and gas cars just have more stuff that can break down or gum up the works, especially as a car gets older. More moving parts means more maintenance. Adding it all up, if you're looking to save money on long-term car ownership, an EV is the way to go.